joining us. Uh, Pius Thomas, ED Finance at Page Industries now joins us on the phone line to get us a ground check on how demonetization has impacted the business. Uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, good morning. Uh, of course, you know, uh, uh, people won't stop wearing undergarments because of demonetization, but uh, you, you know, we, we did see a bit of an impact on the stock price uh, post the demonetization. But I want to understand the, uh, the numbers from you. Over the last one month or two months, uh, has there been any difference to your overall sales numbers? Uh, good morning. See, uh, the 8th and 9th and 10th, uh, there have been slow impact. But now we have uh, completed the month of November. November, we have got double-digit volume growth and value growth. Of course, it is a shade lower than uh, uh, what we have been expecting. And in December, we hope to go back to normal kind of growth. No, double-digit volume growth is something that you have done for many years now, Mr. Thomas. Uh, uh, if you yeah. could give some more uh, exact numbers. It is 11 percentage volume growth. And compared to what the normal range of? 15 percentage. Okay. 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 Uh, so, in your estimate, uh, for uh, uh, the industry in general, how does uh, demonetization impact? Would actually brands get a leg up because more people will be uh, in the digital frame and therefore the non-brand uh, companies could actually suffer? Uh, exactly. We would expect that we would be, uh, we'd be able to grow at faster rate because, you know, two things, one, GS, one GST is also coming demonetization and most of our target audience has already uh, access to digital payment modes. Okay. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little about the margins as well. Uh, in Q1, you took about a price hike of almost about 4 to 5 odd percent um, yes. to offset uh, uh, some of the cost inflation and that impact was felt in Q2. But any more price hikes that you're planning to take or given that there is a bit of a slowdown in the economy that would come to a halt and what kind of sustainable margins do you see for the business? We do price hike January and usually in January, February and March, anticipating the likely increase in wages, salaries and other inputs. So that we will do this time this year also in Jan, February and March. Okay. And then we look at an EBITDA of 21 percentage. So what could the price hike be in Jan and Feb? It depends on many factors, what will be the GST rate and all that. Normal case will be 4 or 5 percentage. <clears throat> if GST indeed were to kick in, in August, on April 1st, uh, how yeah. will the FY18 numbers look, uh, it will, you know, volumes, margins, everything? It will be the same. Maybe we should do better. That We are not able to quantify how much better it would be. Okay, okay. but you are IT ready for it? Yes, we are ready. Okay, uh, the reason I asked you about the price hikes is because despite a price hike, your margins actually slipped in the quarter gone by. I mean, it's still a very healthy 20%, but it's less than the 22% that you that we are used to seeing Page do. Um, what what could the margins be in the second half of the year? Margins in the second half will be slightly higher than the first half. We had two, three, one off factors in Q1 which affected the margin for Q1. Otherwise, we are okay. Okay. Are you planning any further expansions, capex plants? Yes. We are uh, present capacity is uh, 225 million pieces. We have a plan to make it to 400 million by uh, 2019. Okay. Okay. All right, Mr. Thomas. Thanks a lot uh, for your time.